going on people it's E and today I'm talking about safer sex practices for lesbians alright this is a blog request and I was asked to discuss ways to protect yourself when you're um, having sexual relations via oral sex or whatever you consider sex in a lesbian relationship I feel like that old lady on the oxygen channel yeah I think the first thing that needs to be pointed out is that no one is exempt from contracting any disease at all uh, we don't hear a lot about lesbians contracting uh, diseases uh, because studies have shown that lesbians are at a much lower rate of catching diseases like HIV and AIDS than heterosexual women and uh, gay males. But that doesn't mean that lesbians are still exempt from things like chlamydia, herpes, hepatitis, syphilis, gonorrhea, crabs, trig, bacterial vaginosis, things like that so I mean yeah it happens less often but it still happens so what can you do to make sure that you're not affected or infected I know for me I'm an extreme hypochondriac like real talk and you know I could be getting down and my mom might start to play tricks on me and I may look at look at you like yo did you just sneeze like why is your nose running what's all that rattling in your chest you know I caught you scratching yesterday don't you you know so I think the first thing that you may want to do if you're if you're like that, or the first thing you probably need to do in general is to make sure that you and the potential partner are both fully tested, like tested for everything, not just the biggies. I mean everything across the board. You want to make sure that you're fully tested. And make sure that neither you or your partner has had any sexual activity with anyone since your last testing. Also, different diseases have different incubation periods. So you might want to take that into consideration as well. Other things you can do for safe sex are things like using a dental dam. And a dental dam is basically just a piece of plastic that goes between your mouth and whatever you're trying to put your mouth on. Um, it's mostly used for like genital areas or whatever. Um, <clears throat> very inexpensive you can make them or uh, whatever but those keep fluids away from you and vice versa um, also staying away from sadomasochism or rough sex anything that is going to cause you to bleed it's probably not going to be a good idea I mean unless you both have you know a good bill of health and whatever if you enter that then go for it and you know things like not sharing sex toys which should be pretty self-explanatory pretty common sense but you know I know everybody's not going to go out and buy a new whatever after each partner um, but I mean as long as you clean it and clean it thoroughly and the, the instructions the instructions for cleaning it should be on the package so I mean it's not that hard to do just making sure that you're not you know just like spreading it around like doing it with everybody and just not cleaning it um, you may want to clean it before and after well you actually should clean it before and after but you know it's just not not sharing them not saying oh well I left mine at the house can I borrow yours type thing nah I mean yeah, you probably shouldn't do that well, you definitely shouldn't do that Anyway, that's all I got. These are only my opinions. You don't have to agree. Just be quiet when I'm talking.